Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the third ever Brojack cast with your favorite Brojack, me. In the bottom right hand corner of our screen, we got Fabulous, who's a little bit kind of cocky of ID if you think about it. He's like, I'm so fabulous. Look at me, how awesome I am in my red color, flashy sports car guy. Probably drives a Ferrari. You know he drives a Ferrari. In any case, top left, we got, whoa. He's, he's from Mordor. His name is Morgoth. I don't know. I don't get the, the reference because I'm not that into uh, that kind of stuff. You know you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, we, got the, uh, we got the first depot going down. Good on you, Morgoth. Don't even know how to say your ID guy. In any case, all right. So basically, we got King Sejong Station. It's a Korean map. So when you play on it, you get an extra APM boost, which is always nice. Uh, unfortunately, both your you and your opponent get the APM boost, so it kind of like you know it's a little bit even. But if you're one of those low APM guys, as a percentage, you get the advantage. Very important to note that. In any case, we got the pro moves. Now, one of these guys is a platinum player. One of these guys is a gold leaguer. It's important to realize that if you're not the best player in the world, everybody's pretty much the same, and you're all noobs. So, in any case. This noob over here is going for his refinery, and he's got, you know, a barracks. Great. Probably going to build a Reaper because Reapers are OP. And it's good to build the OP units, but, you know, as a Terran, remember, the letter M is where you're at. Mordor, Morgoth. You probably know what he's talking about. That's probably why he named his ID after what he did because it's like M is where it's at. Medivacs, mules, mines, and marines. In any case, Zerg, who's completely, completely screwed and outclassed because of all the M stuff, what do you got as a Zerg, right? Mutalisks? That's pretty much it. It's going for his spawning pull up and his extractor. Extractor is useful to get if you want gas. Gas, useful to get if you want to win ever at StarCraft. Make sure you, you get some of this gas stuff so you can do, I don't know, anything that's good. All right. Anyways, Reaper coming out. He's going to get the scout off. That's what he does. He's like the Reaper guy. He jumps in. He's going to say, oh, wow, check this out. It's a hatchery. That's that's cool and then he'll know like oh there's two gases down what are you gonna do all in me or something with your two gases it's kind of weird you know uh usually zergs are like yeah one gas is pretty good two gas is like well you gotta watch out watch out when when zerg builds two gas like that you know you start freaking out a little bit you know let's see if he starts pooping his pants not yet not yet seems excrement he's keeping it in right now he's keeping it calm that's good it's a good thing to do Still building his uh, command center here. Whoa, check out this guy with the bunker. Check out the fancy moves. I like it. Static D. You know. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All right. All right, buddy. Usually uh, usually what you're going to want to do is not completely get screwed over there. You know. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the crossed out X face. You know why? Because of that's, that's a face for when you're dead. You know, in cartoons when you... When you cross out that the eyes, put them into X's, dead. Yeah, that's what the Reaper just did. Got dead. Let's all get dead, shall we? All right. Reaper, gone. Moving on to the next stage in the game. Reactors, probably some reacted Hellions. This is pretty much the most vanilla way to play StarCraft ever. He's even going to throw down 3rd CC. What a greedy dude. Well, I mean, you're, you're Terran, so you're probably, you're probably greedy. Most Terrans are, are full of greed. That's what happens, you know, when you open them up. It's just all greed inside. There's no love or tenderness, unfortunately. But that's just the way uh, just the way the Terran... Yeah, look at this. Baneling Nest, here we go. Double gas. Gotta watch out. Watch out for the double gas. He's got, like, no drones. He's like, yeah, drones? I don't need drones. Why, why, why would I even build a drone if I could have a Baneling? I like this guy. This guy's pretty good. He's got speed. He's gonna have some Banelings. Wow. <laughs> okay. Prepare to get dead. Let's check out the unit tab. All right. 21 workers to 19. Look at that. He barely even built any drones. Zerg OP. Look at this. He barely even built any drones at all, and he still got more drones than this Mordor guy. Jeez. Well, you know, hey, probably should be building the SCVs out of the, out of the command center of that guy. Maybe that's why your, your workers are so low. Anyway, we're just going to chalk it up to the fact that Zerg's OP. And just ignore any possibility that we could be improving our game here. And we're just going to say, for Morgoth's sake, that uh, 
it's just because Zerg's OP and it's not because you're bad at building workers. Absolutely. Uh, whoa, where's your surround guy? Where's your surround at? Oh, losing a baneling there. You don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. Also, probably since the baneling waddles at like two miles an hour, maybe you just make the banelings over here instead. That way you don't like your whole cup is blown now, guy. Now he knows you're going banes. Wait, what are you going to? Oh, my God. What? All right, so let's do some basic math, guys. It's basic math time. You ready for this? Okay, three armor. That's great. Gotta love the three armor. That's fantastic. And then, oh, how much attack? Five. Do you know what that means? Five minus three oftentimes is two. 2,000 divided by two means you have to do a 1,000 Zergling hits to kill the debris, the debris. What are you doing? What? You're not sneaky. You are not being a sneak. He knows you're there. What? God, this guy. All right, you got to come around. I mean, this is full pants shit in mode. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at what like, he only he even killed his own building for a sec there because he wasn't sure if he even wanted it. What is this guy doing? Oh, my God. This is some real bronze science right here. He knows you're coming. Come by the other way. If he scouts you, just keep doing it anyway. That's what it's about, you know. If somebody scouts you doing something sneaky, just keep doing it. And maybe he'll forget that you were doing something sneaky and it'll work anyway. But yeah, this is totally, uh, you know, the one thing that's missing though is some bunkers. Throw some bunkers in here, be great. Look at, oh my god, Hellions are trapped in here. This is like, this is 100. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Throw the bunker down. Yeah, there we go. Alright, our thousand hits done. Death of a thousand cuts. Wow, you should probably run your Hellion away. They're super fast. They're really good at killing shit. All right, here we go. Here's the Baneling bust. Here's the... Oh, he's just going to kill some stuff, and then he's going to realize, oh, wait, there's like a thousand buildings up here. Oh, oh, my God, and he doesn't even kill any Hellions. Oh, my God. Want to talk about a fail. Here it comes. He's like, you know what? If I don't first, I don't succeed. Just keep trying until I lose. That's what this guy's doing. Oh, nice. Nice moves now. All right. You know, we, we got to give credit what credit is due here, guys. And he totally baited out that mine hit. I don't know if he if he realizes there's two mines up there, though, not one. Oh, God. Don't hit. Oh, my God. The banelings. Oh, he lost so many banelings there. Oh, what a waste. And now he's going to take a bunch of free hits. Not even kill his supply depot. Yeah. Wow. This is some this is some fail stuff right here. This isn't bronze sign. This is when cheese fails. Whoops, dude. Dude, this is the wrong show. What are you doing? You gotta this got this is this has got put into the wrong show. We we must have got the replays mixed up. Go send this over to Maximus Black. Get get him to cast this because this is silly. This is some silly stuff. Man, what what do you even do from here? He's, he's gonna do a doom drop or something? Man, what what even happens? I I guess you just you just chill here. Is he ever gonna build a drone again? No. Ah, he's getting burrow. Perfect. All right. So if you're having trouble breaking your opponent, just get burrow. So that way you can sneak in. Oh, and he loses all of his bailing so he can do a couple hundred damage against the supply depot. Dude, what are you doing? Go home, man. Go home, dude. Just dude. Oh, dude, just go home. This fucking noob. All right. Anyway, um, fabulous. Emperor Fabulous over here is just gonna make more links and uh, Meanwhile the Terran is just gonna be compounding this advantage Wow repair the widow mine look at that All right, widow mines are cleared out here comes the big attack. Nope Yes, it's really coming. Is he actually gonna kill this stuff? He kills the supply depot. Oh check it out It only cost him like a million bane links to do it and now his whole army's whoa. Oh no, he's got links. All right one second Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. Wait a minute. And now his whole army's dead. Oh, look at that. God. Oh, my God. What, the noob. Please. Please, noob. Please. Go home. Go home. Now, the appropriate response, the transition out of this build uh, is F10N. You've got to get the F10N transition from here. But it looks like Fabulous is going to stay in the game anyway. Uh, and hopefully this Terran player doesn't just turtle like a maniac for the whole rest of the game. And make this an hour long game. I didn't check the length. I don't know how long it is. We could be here for days. We could be here for months. I don't even know. I don't even know.
some guy sent this in. He was like, check it out. Check out this game, Casio. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, well, it looks like he just still, oh, hey, check it out. Credit what credit's due. I always like to say that. He's building two drones. He's starting to learn. He's starting to realize, hey, drones, they give me money, and I like money. So <laughs> there you go. But, you know, like everyone says, more money, more problems. You know what I'm saying? So Fabulous is about to also inherit a bunch of problems with his money. Yeah, no, that's not true at all. Don't listen to that shit. That's garbage. That's what we like to call garbage. Make sure you pronounce it correctly. It's G-A-H-B-A-G-E. Garbage. In any case, uh, we got some... Man, you know, at first you don't succeed. Just keep hitting your head against the wall until you're dead. Seems to be the, the fabulous method of approach here. He's just going to kind of... I don't know, he's going to... What am I even supposed to say at this point? He's just going to send some more Zerglings and Banelands to their death? All right, let's see what... Let's, let's see if I can predict the future like a magician. All right, here I go. Here's my magic. 105 supply is better than 56. Yeah, fact number one. Okay, fact number two, Widow Mines are OP. All right, fact number two. Now, fact number three that I conclude from the first two facts by logic. This attack is going to fail super hardcore. He's just going to come in here. Everything's going to get destroyed by Imba units like Marines and Marauders and Mines. And then, you know what? Man, I didn't even think about this. I didn't even think about this. God, like, what is he even supposed to do? Terran's OP. He can't even, he should, he should just GG at the beginning of the game, man. Terran is just, oh, Terran's just too OP. There's no way, there's no way that, that you can ever even lose with Terran because they're so OP. Think about it. They got they got mines. What are you supposed to do? If you attack with your lings and your banes, splash damage just kills everything, and then you're dead? Man, all right. Any time now. Dude, you want to like... All right, we're, we're, you know what? We're speeding this up. You know, it's not really my style to speed things up, but, you know, Captain, I'm, I don't want to do anything for the first 20 minutes of the game aside baneling bust over here. It's just going to wait forever. Come on, any time now. We're on times four speed. My God, how long are you going to sit here and not attack? Oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, look at Check it. He's thinking about it. He's like, oh, wow, maybe I'll do something eventually. Oh, no, I'm going to move over here. I'm going to reposition. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Here we go. Now, this is the slow motion. He doesn't know. He doesn't know this Burrow Banelings here. Now, this is too many Burrow Banelings. This is overkill. Fabulous is an overkill kind of guy. Oh, and he drops the scan. This is why you don't burrow banelings and creep. And all of that supply is now gone. Notice 77 to 169. And generally speaking, doesn't matter how many enduring locust upgrades you have, you're going to lose, man. Let's get back to the regular speed. All right, you need to attack move, buddy. What's going on over here? This is the part where you kill him, not give him more time to defend himself. This is the part where you go in and kill your opponent here. Poor old Bane Links. Man, you know, this is the problem, alright? People got math issues, alright? You only need two Bane Lins for the surface area. Like, the splash radius is like this big. You only need two Bane Lins in this whole area, and you're set. He's just like, you know what? It could take me, like, 20 gas to get this done. You know what? I want to spend 2,000 gas to accomplish the same task because the dude's not good at math. Oh, man. There it is. Oh, wow. Nice explode there. Excellent explode. Just so you all know, the Marauders didn't miraculously just kill the Banelings. They exploded themselves. Real smart. Uh, dude. Dude. You can get out of shit in your pants mode. You're not being all in anymore. It's time to attack. Dude. Guy. Morgoth. Listen to me, please. Oh, my God. Man, how long is... You know, he's like... You know what I would love to do? This game could be over right now, but I would just love to give my opponent tons and tons of time to just be able to build up a defense instead of killing them. You know what? I take it back. Morgoth is just being a nice guy. And you know what? There are advantages to that. But in the end, guess what? Nice guys 
actually win this game. GG, Morgoth. Thanks for the game. I'll see you guys later.